Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Joe Biden is seething, exact words, seething at Nancy Pelosi, the former House Speaker. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you are on the Trump train in 2024, then by golly, hit that join button and become a member of this channel. Guys... Nancy Pelosi apparently is the driving force behind the scenes here to try to get Joe Biden booted out of, con out of, out of Congress. Oh, no, out of the White House. We should boot Pelosi out of, of Congress. But she's trying to, she's the one that's trying to get Biden out of the White House, out of the, pre not out of the White House so much as out of the presidential race because she's counting numbers and she doesn't think he can be elected. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you're trying to save democracy, that's their line, right? What part of save democracy is ignore the votes of uh, 14, I think it's 14 million Democrat voters nationwide so that a handful of elites in a smoky room behind closed doors can pick your party's nominee? What part of democracy is that? Are you going to save democracy by stabbing democracy in the back? Is that the plan, Nance? And Joe Biden, for his efforts, apparently he is furious with Pelosi. He thinks she's the one behind all this. He apparently knows she's the one behind all of this. And he is seething angry at her and furious at his former boss, President Obama, and just furious at all these Democrats that have really stabbed him in the back. He feels betrayed, and I don't blame him. He helped a lot of people in the Democrat Party. Listen, he was a dirty, low-down snake for all of these people and used his dirty, low-down snake abilities to get a lot of them elected. But the problem with snakes is even other snakes can't trust them. Take a look at this report and let me know what you think about this in the comments. Tonight, President Biden is in isolation as he's fighting off symptoms from COVID-19. But he's also in isolation in the figurative sense as he is now fighting off new calls from his own party to get out of the 2024 race. The party that Biden has devoted his life to is unleashing a new and really public effort to push him out of challenging Donald Trump for the White House. A slew of House Democrats have joined two more prominent Democratic senators tonight in calling for Biden to step aside. All of it, we are told, has President Biden seething tonight, with much of his anger directed at Nancy Pelosi. That's because some of the names that are calling for him to drop out of the race are her close allies. And in the view from Rehoboth Beach, Delaware tonight, where President Biden finds himself, that is no coincidence. Did you consult or coordinate with her on your statement? I did not. Um, I gave a heads up after I made a decision to a leadership, but I did not coordinate and did not ask permission. I reached this conclusion with really an agonizing decision based on what I'm seeing uh, in the, uh, the data. That is Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren. You'll remember her from the January 6th Congressional Committee. She is one of Pelosi's closest allies. That's why Wolf was asking if she coordinated her call for Biden to get out of this race with the former House Speaker. And all this comes as The New York Times is also out with a doozy of a report tonight that says President Biden is also irritated with former President Barack Obama, seeing his former running mate, and I'm, I'm quoting The New York Times now, as the puppet master behind the scenes of all of these calls for him to get out of the race. Biden has not said he is going to do so. He's not moved an inch on that. He says he looks forward to returning to the campaign trail next week once COVID is behind him. But we are closely monitoring what has developed into an intense and fluid situation tonight, seemingly changing by the hour at this point, as Democratic donors are also certainly feeling it. That's why Vice President Harris had to get on the phone with them today from the West Wing, as many of them say that their wallets are closed until this matter is resolved.